Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 17 of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. Today we kick off season 2 with a rivalry game at home against Troy. And we're finally back kicking off season 2 here. I waited a couple weeks in between season 1 and season 2 to you know allow people a chance to submit to become one of the recruits of um, one of the members of my first recruiting class if they wanted to. We had one submission. It was from my friend who is the other coach in this online dynasty. And he wanted a wide receiver named Wilron Hausenbauer. And so he went ahead and got committed. You can see he's been redshirted. But hello everyone. Welcome to Lad People Stadium in Mobile, Alabama. We've got a new season of Jaguar football ready to kick off here today. Between the South Alabama Jaguars and the Troy Trojans. As we are here ready to take a look at this starting South Alabama defense this year. You can see Mick Williams at left end. Turner and Brown going to be the top two at D-tackle. Taji Stewart, the starting left outside linebacker. Bull Barge, the redshirt junior, looking to take over for Daryl Songy at middle linebacker. Haynes could also potentially get some playing time if Bull st struggles. And you can see Riley Cole back as a redshirt sophomore. He's probably going to be the strength of the linebacking core. You got senior Jalen Thompson and freshman Kerry Green are the starting outside corners. Junior Bobby Flott is the third corner of the nickel corner. And Gus Nave going to be the fourth corner if necessary. Tobias Moss will be fifth. But this coaching staff is really excited about Green. He was a the player they coveted from the beginning last year. You can see Darian Mills, the redshirt senior, moved from corner to free safety in the offseason. And we'll see if he can make some moves in his senior season at safety as Nigel Lawrence is back at strong safety for his senior season. But here Troy gets the ball first. It is second and ten. And Barker going to be flung down by Bobby Flott. Caleb Barker nowhere to go. He went with the fake and it took him a little second to sort of turn around. Not really sure what he was doing, but that's an easy tackle for loss for Flott. It sets up a third down and 15 here on the opening series. Barker back to pass. It's a screen to Henderson. Henderson got a big gain down the sideline into South Alabama territory inside the 40. Gain of 34 on the screen for Henderson. It's a first down from the South Alabama 39. They'll give to Henderson up the middle. Jamarius Henderson rumbles for a gain of 10. And that's another Troy first down. And now inside the 30 down to about the 25. Henderson blown up in the backfield on first down though. Loss of three. Jalen Thompson the senior corner there to make the play. A nice start to a senior year for Thompson. And it'll set up a third down and 10 from the 29. Barker hit in knocked down. It's a loss of seven. Barker hit and dropped by Taji Stewart. So Stewart in his first start at defensive end just plows through the offensive line and drags the quarterback down. Nice play by Taji Stewart. And the South Alabama pressure will get to the Troy quarterback and force a punt. As we take a look at the starting offense for South Alabama. Evan North back for his senior season. He'll be backed up by Garvin. Trey Minner, the redshirt junior, gets the start at halfback looking to take over for Xavier Johnson, who was an elite running back a year ago. He was very good. And Minner's got some pretty big shoes to fill. You can see Tyler Roberts, the fullback, in the start as a true freshman. The receiving core consists of Sam Harrison, Jordan McCray on the outside, and a redshirt sophomore, Kawan Baker, the hero of the New Orleans Bowl last year, getting the start in the slot. Harris is a senior, and McCray is a junior. But you can see Andrew Rinkemeyer, the reigning Mackey Award winner, is back for his senior season at tight end. We'll see if he puts up some big numbers. 
You got a pair of seniors starting on the left side of the offensive line. Steve Davidson gets a start as a true freshman at center, as does true freshman Javin Ingram at right guard. And you got Ryan Alexander Jr. starting at right tackle. It's first down, first play from scrimmage for South Alabama. And Trey Minner will go up the middle for a gain of 14. So a 14-yard gain for Minner on his first carry from scrimmage. Later drive, it's now third and 10. Ball is out their own 34. Orth back to pass. Throws incomplete. There are a couple intended receivers over the middle. Sort of threw it in between both of them, and it falls incomplete. And so South Alabama will have to punt on their opening possession. Troy's got the ball back. Barker keeping it himself on the option. Caleb Barker again a 15 and a Troy first down. Landon Drive is now 39 from their own 49 for Troy. Four minutes to go here. First quarter here in Mobile. Barker back to pass. Going deep. That's going to be picked off. Jalen Thompson with the interception. And the senior with the first turnover of the season for the South Alabama defense. They wanted a corner out. And Thompson just jumped around and he's got his first INT of the season. We'll see if the South Alabama offense can get anything going now on their second drive. As they're already facing a third and eight. Or throws passes dropped by Minner. Trey Minner had the first down and he dropped it. And so that's a three and out for South Alabama on their second possession. The ball will go back to Troy, who's got a second and one from their own 48. Barker going to keep it himself. He's got the first down before being brought down by Cole. And so that is a first down for Troy, now facing a second and eight into South Alabama territory. Barker going to keep it himself, blown up by Bull Barge. And the new middle linebacker taking over for Daryl Songy. He's got a big tackle for loss here in this first quarter. That'll be setting up a third down and 12 here from about midfield. Barker back to pass. Wants to throw the screen. He's going to be sacked. Barker brought down by Tyree Turner, the reigning All-American defensive tackle. Turner just came free and got the quarterback down. It's a loss of 10, and it'll set up 4th and 23. Troy's got a punt. First down for South Alabama from their own 42. They'll give to Foster. And Denzel Foster, the backup running back, going to go up the middle, gain a 17. A big hole right there for Foster. And that's a big first down for Troy, as we will see if maybe, or for South Alabama, rather, as we will see if maybe this gets some momentum going. Later on, second and eight from the 40 of the Trojans. Orth will keep it himself. Orth to the outside. Orth inside the 10. Going to be knocked down inside the 5. Gain a 34 for Evan Orth, and it'll be first and goal. Orth kept it himself. He bounced it to the outside, and he got down inside the 5, as that should take us to the end of the first quarter, and it does. He passed one here in Mobile. South Alabama and Troy score this at one, but it'll be first and goal for the Jaguars when we come back here in the battle for the belt. It's actually a second and goal here early second quarter. An incompletion on first and goal. Orth back to pass. Throwing end zone. Cats! Touchdown, Andrew Rinkemeyer in South Alabama strikes first. Orth's first completion of the day. He's one of six for five yards and a touchdown. And that one goes to Rinkemeyer, the reigning Mackey Award winner. His first touchdown of his senior season gives South Alabama the lead here in the battle for the belt. The ball will go back to Troy, who's hit by Kerry Green, brought down. Bounced off a tackle from Green and wrapped up by Taji Stewart. But Kerry Green, the true freshman corner, made the play. He slowed the running back down enough for Stewart to finish him off, even though he didn't technically get the tackle. On third and 14, they'll throw the screen, led and blown up by Bobby Flott. Gain of four, but nowhere near the first down. Choi's got to punt it away. Second and inches from midfield here on the suing, ensuing possession for South Alabama. Trey Minner got a big hole up the middle. 16 yards from Minner as he rumbles down into Troy territory. 
Five carries, 44 yards for Minner, who's doing a nice job so far filling in and replacing the production in the running game for Xavier Johnson. Laying the drive is now third and eight. Orth back to pass underneath, caught by Rinkemeyer. Andrew Rinkemeyer with a gain of 10 down to about the 21. Two catches, 15 yards, and a score. Orth is 2 of 7 for 15 yards and a touchdown. He's completed back to back passes, though. Now it's third and three, back to pass again. That'll be caught by Jordan McCray under the middle. And the junior wideout will make his first grab of the season. It'll set up first and goal from the nine. Now it's second and goal from the four. Coming up on two minutes to go here, first half. They'll give to Minner. Minner into the end zone. That's a South Alabama touchdown. Trey Minner in from three yards out. And South Alabama has extended their lead. It'll be 14-0 pending the extra point. So Minner with his first rushing touchdown of his junior season. And on the ensuing drive, Barker will keep it himself. Troy's had some success moving the ball, but they really probably want to try and get into the end zone here before halftime as South Alabama will get the ball to start the third quarter. First down, Barker flung down. It's a sack. Loss of five. Mick Williams there to make the play. And actually, there were a host of South Alabama defenders right there. Mick Williams was just the first one to him. Looked like Barge was also there. Stewart was also there. Just a host of red jerseys right there ready to take Barker down. And there in the drive, it is now third down and 13. A minute and a half left. Barker back to pass. Going deep, once his man intercepted. Nigel Lawrence, the senior strong safety, picks that one off. And he's still running out across the 40 down to about the 43. So Nigel Lawrence with his first interception of his senior campaign. And he's going to return that one out across the 40 down to about the 43. And South Alabama will set up shop near midfield. We'll have to see if they can capitalize. And so it's a first down from their own 43 here for South Alabama. Minute 19 to go, first half. They'll throw underneath. That's caught by Baker. Kwan Baker on this slant makes the catch and cuts up field. Gain of 21. Two catches, 27 yards for Kwan Baker, the hero of last season's New Orleans Bowl. And he's having a strong start to his redshirt sophomore campaign. It'll set up a first down here from the 35. Fires over the middle. Rinkemeyer open deep. Gain of 21. Andrew Rinkemeyer three catches 36 yards. He got open and that was a nice throw by Evan Orth who after starting over five has completed his last six. And now they got it into the red zone. It'll be second and 11 from the 15. 37 seconds left in the half. Orth, back to pass, throws over the middle, caught by Harris. Sam Harris with the catch on the slant, gain of 11. Two catches, 10 yards for the senior. Orth will keep it himself on first and goal, and he's in. Evan Orth, a design QB run, will not a rushing touchdown. And the senior with his first rushing touchdown with 30 seconds left in the half. is now 21 nothing. South Alabama pending the extra point. And it looks like the Jaguars have this one well in hand. Still 26 seconds left, though. Troy with two timeouts. Maybe they can make a play. Baker, thrown sideline, intercepted. It's picked off. Kerry Green with the INT. The third turnover this first half. And Kerry Green, the true freshman from Marion, Alabama, decided to stay in-state and sign with South Alabama. And this coaching staff was super excited about him. And you can see in his first half of collegiate football, he'll come up with his first career INT. He just jumped around and played that like he was a wideout. Nice awareness to get both feet in. That would have been good in the pros. But now a third and ten following the interception for South Alabama. Orth wants to take a shot. Going deep. Has a man. Caught by Kawan Baker. Gain of 40. It'll be first and goal down to the one. Not quite going to get in, but they wanted to take a shot deep. And it's Kawan Baker making the big grab. 
Just a little disappointed he couldn't finish it and get that one in. But it'll be first and go from the one prime position to score again. Or thrown deep. Cut. Touchdown. Kawan Baker. He was open in the end zone. Jumped up to make the grab. And his second career touchdown. The first of his redshirt sophomore season. Has made it a 28-0 game pending the extra point. Kawan Baker really successful. And he's got a nice first half so far. Barker going deep. Hail Mary. That'll be intercepted again. Picked up by Kerry Green. His second interception in as many possessions. That one on a Hail Mary down in the first half. But Green, you can see now why they were so excited about him. This coaching staff was just raving about him. They fought hard for him all season. Took him into the offseason. And he signed in the offseason. And he's coming up making big plays in his first half of collegiate football. The home state product with two interceptions in his first half. South Alabama leads Troy 28-0. And they get the ball to start the third quarter. And on second down, Mineral keeping himself up the middle. Gain a 10 first down. Trey Mineral 11 carries 76 yards and the score. Now set up a first down from their own 45, maybe 46. They'll give it to Minner again. Minner a big hole. Trey Minner into Troy territory. Down inside the 40. Down to about the Trojan 36. 12 carries. 93 yards for Minner. And he just had a big hole to run through right there. Now set up a first down. Orth back to pass. Does our knee. Caught by Rinkemeyer. Rinkemeyer will cut it up field for a gain of 16. First down South Alabama, four catches, 52 yards. And Rinkemeyer is 11 of 18, 135 yards, two scores. And they got it first down inside the red zone. Ball's out the 20. Two minutes gone by here, third quarter. Earth will keep it himself. Earth following his blocks, cuts up field. Still not down yet. Gain of 12 inside the 10. It'll be first and goal from the 8 for South Alabama. They would not get the touchdown though and would have to settle for three. And Patterson's field goal attempt will split the uprights. It's now 31-0 South Alabama. And they get the ball back after Troy does nothing. They have to punt it. Go on the triple option. The pitch out to Minner. Minner a big gain. Gain of 16 and a first down. Nice decision right there on the triple option. Or it's like... He sees someone coming, pitches it out to Minner, and Minner cuts up field for a big gain. He's over 100 yards in his first game of the season. Orth will keep it himself on second five, gets a block. Orth cuts up field. He's into the end zone. Gain a 23 and a touchdown for Evan Orth, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Combine that with two passing scores and no turnovers, and it's now 38-0. Troy getting the ball back to throw underneath. That's intercepted. The fifth South Alabama interception by this Jaguar defense. And that was by Bull Bards, the new middle linebacker. The redshirt junior comes up with a nice interception. As that was thrown really right to him. And South Alabama in great position. The route is on now. We've played three here in the battle for the belt. It's been all Jaguars. South Alabama leads 38-0. And they'll look to see if they can finish the shutout here in this fourth quarter. As the second string is now in. The backup offense in. Garvin back to pass. Hit as he throws. The ball comes out. And it'll be a fumble. And that'll be the first South Alabama turnover. It's a fumble as Garvin got hit as he went to throw it. And that'll be Troy's first turnover on defense. Second 11. Hit the ball comes out. Caleb Barker fumbled it. The offensive lineman will recover it, but it's still a huge loss. Bull Barge came free to force that one loose. The middle linebacker having himself a nice game in his first start, replacing Songy, a productive defender last season. But Barge looked like he's more than capable of stepping up to the task. They would punt. South Alabama would go three and out. Troy's got the ball back, and Barker blown up for a loss of seven. DJ Daniels with the sack as the second string defense is now in two. 
407 to go. And this fourth quarter has been all about not risking any serious injuries. Let the backups get some playing time. As Garvin going to throw that one caught by Kawan Baker. He's got a gain of nine, and it'll be a first and goal. Five catches, 77 yards, and a score for the redshirt sophomore as he moves from the slot to the outside here with the second stringers in. But Denzel Foster, a big hole to run through. That'll be a gain of three and another South Alabama touchdown. As that will put the finishing touches on this blowout with 12 seconds left. This one was all South Alabama. They win 45 0, 21 first downs compared to five. Troy had 55 yards of total offense. South Alabama, by contrast, 419, 270 of which came on the ground. They had four rushing touchdowns. They went 13 of 23 with two touchdowns and 149 yards through the air. Six of 10 on third downs, 0 of 1 on fourth downs. And six reds on the trips. They had five touchdowns and a field goal. They won the turnover battle 5-1. to one. All five were interceptions. Their only turnover was a lost fumble. But before we take a look at the South Alabama stats, I wanted to show you the stats of Caleb Barker, the Troy quarterback with a 5.4 QB rating. He went 7 of 16, completed 43% of his passes, 46 yards, no touchdown, and 5 interceptions. I mean, a 5.4 QB rating, that's the worst QB rating I think I've ever seen. He was just not very good. By contrast, Orth had a slow start, went 0 for 5, finished with a 144.5 QB rating, went 12 of 21, 140 yards, two touchdowns. So after starting 0 for 5, completing almost 60% of your passes, not too bad. Garvin went 1 of 2 for, I think, 9 yards. Minner had 15 carries, 112 yards, and a touchdown, averaged 7.4 yards a carry. Denzel Foster had 14 for 84 and a score. He averaged 6 yards a carry. And Evan, or Evan Orth had 6 carries, 74 yards, and 2 touchdowns. So you had 3 South Alabama players with 70 yards or more rushing. Could have had 300-yard rushers if you had kept the first team in, I think, into that fourth quarter. Kwan Baker and Rinkemeyer both had 5 catches. Baker had 77 yards in the score, had one drop. Rinkemeyer had 57 yards in the score and no drops. Harris, 2 of 10. McCray, 1 of 5. And two receivers had drops but no catches. You can see Riley Cole had five tackles. There were a host there with three. And still a host more with two. So not much individually tackle-wise. You had Barge, Thompson, and Stewart. Each had two tackles for loss. Turner, McWilliams, Flott. And a couple others had one. There were six sacks for the South Alabama defense. Turner, McWilliams, Daniel, Watley, and Stewart all had, or Ann Barge also had a sack. Interception wise, Kerry Green, the true freshman, had two. Two interceptions in his first career game. Lawrence had one. Thompson had one. Barge had one. And this defense really played well, honestly. But you can see why the coaching staff is super excited about the home state product, Kerry Green. He has two interceptions in his career in his first career start. South Alabama wins the battle for the belt 45 0. That'll do it for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.